I was working here for six months and uh, like someone made uh, a tattoo of this elephant gardener. It was like an, an, an off-team deco that I worked and I wasn't expecting anything out of it. I was still uh, even feeling a bit insecure about how the players would uh, accept my art and uh, they would receive. And then I had this blast because I saw like that my heart affected uh, someone in a like in a level that like she imprinted it, imprinted it on her skin, and yeah, that's totally priceless. That's an insane number. I I can't even think of what number of decorations we were at when I started but it was nowhere near as high. It was in the low thousands. And it's just, it's insane to think we have that many assets. I am not 100% sure why he was created. I believe he was a free item giveaway, is, is my understanding. Um, and then because he started showing up in places he had no business being in, um, we all kind of fell in love with the idea of just Bill being around. He showed up in the weirdest tanks and it was so exciting to see this this nice looking guy with a ham just showing up just in the most creative locations. He's been under the sea, he's been on the moon just bringing his ham to the party. Um, and so we kind of added fuel to the fire by featuring him in April Fool's Sings and reskinning him and re-releasing him in different places and he's just become this phenom. Yeah, so one Halloween I dressed up as Bill, and the other Halloween I dressed up as Bill dressed up as a ghost. So people saw me wearing this ghost sheet, but surprise, when you took it off, it's just Bill dressed up for Halloween. So we went, we went deep. <laughs> it's a lot of refinement. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll usually start with one concept uh, for a level, like a specific kind of challenge I want the players to go through. And then I will design a fairly difficult level around that concept, so sort of the end goal. Uh, usually I'll start with just a paper diagram, I'll sketch out the level, um, try and visualize it in my head, and then once I'm happy that I have a layout which I think can work, uh, I'll bring it into our tools and I'll start making the level. And then I'll play it, make some adjustments, play it, make some adjustments. There's a constant process of making sure the level works how I want, and then once it works how I want, I have to tune the difficulty. So the Tank of the Week is always a very exciting time for me. Um, I get to see a lot of the top entries and it's always very inspiring and encouraging for me as a part-time player of the game. Um, when I'm actually doing the vote for the uh, Tank of the Week, I just look for something that is it, creates a very moody kind of scene using the items that come with the event. It's just always really encouraging to see these items used to their like fullest potential. So I know that Goldie originally was um, basically relegated to the app icon and a couple of pop-ups in the game, but then we decided uh, Goldie could be our mascot. So one of the first um, appearances of Goldie was in the 50s theme, the first 50s theme, not the Greasers theme. Um, we made a poster that had a little fish on it and it, it said Fish World and Retro and it was in black and white and that was Goldie's first appearance. For years we've loved Goldie as the face of Fish World. Don't worry, Goldie's not going anywhere, but we're excited to introduce a new face to the Fish World waters. Please join us in welcoming Shelby the Sea Turtle. We're so excited to have him in Fish World and can't wait to see what fun you get into with them. Happy